hello i'm getting ready to do the outline for these cookies i gridded them all out there's three different designs one of the designs is basically green and that's the one i'm going to outline now one of the designs is red and one of them is a pink so i'll just do a couple of the green ones for now you're welcome for my sharing um thank you for showing up that's the best part so I did these I guess they're quarter inch squares and I really didn't do like an outline because I didn't want to you know limit myself because you can see this square isn't quite square because the cookie isn't perfectly shaped so I wanted to make sure that I would be able to have straight lines and apparently I can't talk and outline at the same time. So I'm using, this is royal icing and a Wilton number one tip. And these are those tipless bags, but I don't do good with the tipless bags. I don't do well with the tipless bags. So I switched to putting them, using them as regular bags just because I bought a whole bunch of them and now I need to use them. Creamed eggs? Who's making creamed eggs? Not me. And my nephew informed me on my last Periscope, I said mind with a D, craft, mind craft, and it's not mind craft, it's mine craft. No, they don't burst when I use them with a tip. I just make sure I don't put stiff icing in them because then they're likely to burst. This is a little, just a little tiny bit stiffer than um, flood consistency. So I think we're fine with that. And I do have regular Wilton bags that I can use when I'm using a stiffer icing, but they work fine. I just, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but when I cut them and start to use them, my lines are, it's kind of like, it's not round. It's almost like a triangle shape. So I don't know, maybe somebody, maybe somebody could post a uh, Periscope on how to use tipless bags because I am definitely doing something wrong. I do not like them. I think sometimes that it's, um, you know, a learning curve and because usually I have article, I mean, uh, orders to do. I don't have time for a learning curve. But I just like the control I have with a tip. And as I say that, of course, my line breaks. So basically, what I'm going to do is you know, outline these and then go back and fill in each little quadrant with the color that it needs to be for the design. Kind of like a quilting. Make sure that you're filling in areas that don't butt up to each other so you don't get bleeding into each other. I'd be interested in knowing how many of you that are cookie decorators, do you hold your tip? Do you hold your wrist? Do you hold the bag? I I tend to hold my wrist. Sometimes I'll hold my bag if um, or my tip. But I kind of find it, that's one of the things I pay attention to when other people are doing their cookies. I look to see how they hold their bag. So. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. I always love how colorful they are. And one thing I just figured out just recently is your heart corresponds to the color when you're text, when you message, like artsy edibles, you're purple. So if you hit um, hearts, then they're purple hearts. I thought that was cool. It's not something I noticed before. Just noticed it the last um, Periscope I was on. I know I have a, a cookie swivel and it would probably be better to be using the cookie swivel than a paper towel. 
but my cookie swivels upstairs and I don't want to go get it. So we're going old school with a paper towel. And I'm sorry if anybody's asking questions, my head is below the screen at the moment so I can't see them. If you want to hang on a second, I'll peek back at the screen. And I think I've said this before, I've seen some people, I think uh, maybe Liz Merrick is one of the ones that does it. It seems to me like she has an, her, she's using her, like her iPhone to film, but she's looking at maybe her iPad to see the questions. I'd love to know who does that or if that's possible and how they do it because I feel bad when I don't respond to the comments people are putting on the screen, but it's because I, I can't see them while I'm doing this. It took me forever to learn how to even set up the iPhone so that I could record and it didn't look all goofy. Okay, so that's basically how I'm outlining them all. And I will come back later as I begin to fill in the pattern so you guys can see how I'm doing that. So thank you very much for joining. I'll see you guys later.